Hey, how's it? Aloha, gang. We're back over here at City Mill hanging out with Stu Suster, and we're going over priming today. More do-it-yourself projects. Now, when it comes to priming, it's an important step, but a lot of times you guys skip it. Stu, why is priming important? It's important, especially if you have bare drywall. Uh, you need something for the paint to adhere to. If it's bare drywall, I would suggest using primer first. So what if you went straight onto the drywall without primer? What would happen? Lots of times it won't adhere completely, and then you'll get bubbles, you'll get flaking paint. We don't want that. Different varieties of primer, right? There's water right. versus oil-based. Now, right. what's that about? Uh, oil-based, you would usually see uh, painters using outside of the house. It makes for a better paint adhesion in and durability for longer periods of time, but you would usually see that outside because of the smell from the oil base. Gotcha, so oil-based primer always outside. So yes. we're talking stuff like garages, mm -hmm. exteriors of the house that should work. Correct. Dude, what about water-based primer? Water-based primer, uh, I would highly recommend using that. You can use it inside, you can use it outside. Both are fine. I like water-based only because it dries fast compared mm -hmm. to oil-based paints. And you can go right over with water-based paint. Now, what are we looking at over here, this specific piece? Over here, what we're gonna try to explain today, why the use of blue tape is so important. Because we need to paint our baseboard now. Okay. But we don't want the baseboard paint to get onto our wall that we just painted. You gotta get our blue tape. Okay. Hold it right there. Well, mostly if you're doing adjoining surfaces. Okay. With different colors. Gotcha. Make sure we press it on real good. All right, so now that we're all taped up, we can go ahead and start painting with the primer. What's next, we're gonna start painting right over here on this top portion, on the top here, only because getting a roller on there is gonna be kind of difficult. See, okay. right here it's not rolling at all. Right. So what we wanna do is we wanna get a little paint and take, paint this top section. You don't have to worry about it getting on the blue tape. That's, That's what good. it's for. And best thing about primer is what it'll do is this wood grain, it'll help cover that wood grain. So if you were to put paint first, you, you would see the wood grain bleeding through. All right, so next you wanna use a roller. I only wanna use a roller because it creates a more even surface. So once it gets to this stage, obviously we gotta let it set. Yep, so after you let it dry, uh, maybe about two or so hours, to the touch usually. Uh, you, you can go ahead and peel it off unless you're gonna go ahead and paint it a different color. And get some paint from City Mill, any color you want, you can start painting it. And then you can remove the blue tape gotcha, so after, you've, after all the painting is done. Gotcha. Let's see so how after we, did. we peel it off. It would be pretty good. I yeah. think it's only my side. <laughs> <laughs> Stu, people want to come down, check you guys out. They got questions, they're priming, they're painting. What's the best way to do that? Uh, come to any one of our eight City Mill locations or go to citymill.com.